When there's no more room in hell, the zombie dead will roam the earth and they'll take a bite out of you. Kind of like the police are supposed to take a bite out of crime, I guess. So this is Zombie Army 4, Dead War. The dead are still warring against the living, apparently. So this is like a zombie shooter multiplayer, one to four player game. I played it as a solo experience, but I feel like I missed out on a lot of it uh, by doing that. Pretty much, it's an alternate timeline where Hitler's finally dead in this timeline. I didn't play the first three games, so I'll have to let you know that ahead of time. And the zombies are still roaming the earth, so I guess they're powered by whatever power zombies, uh, whatever brought them back. I don't know what brought them back in the first place, but apparently they're still here and you're still kicking their butts. So anyways, uh, so it's a 1940s Europe setting. You're fighting an undead Armageddon. Uh, tons of detailed weapons. There's skins galore. There's characters, DLC to choose from. The graphics are super polished in this game. I don't know if I actually put it on the max, but like it still looks pretty darn polished and pretty. Uh, came out last year, so it's still a fairly recent game. Uh, Zombie Army 4. It really does feel like what I found was neat was you really do feel like you're one person or say f up to four people fighting uh, wave after wave of uh, the undead and I feel like that's kind of hard to do now I did see some criticism that this game is using like a lot of art assets and graphics from um, the sniper elite 4 game I never play that so I'm just gonna have to take that for granted that that at face value but still like this game's graphics are still very polished and like I guess ignorance is bliss we're gonna go with that so um, it's a lot of fun. The graphics uh, lure you in. The voice acting is also really good. Um, there's a lot of gore in this. I don't know if you can crank it up. Some games you can. I didn't see an option, but you can like dismember like arms from the zombies. Um, this headshots, and there's just hundreds of them. And like I barely scratched the surface. I don't know how long this game is. It might be 10 or 20 hours. But like, I found the mission so far quite short, which is actually kind of a good thing because I think if I'm correct, Left 4 Dead 1 had really long missions, and Back 4 Blood, the missions are mostly short, but I felt like this was shorter still. But uh, I feel like if you wanted to play this game as a solo experience rather than a team base, the game lets you. But when I tried to play it as like a Rambo experience, that's when you get swarmed by the zombies because you have to reload so there is a slight it's not totally pure arcade experience there's a strategic element I feel like you have to pace yourself out in the levels from the few I played um, and I only just scratched the surface too but like it takes time to reload so you try and use your melee weapon which has a time down um, um, like you know what I mean refresh phase out phase um, but yeah I'd say like the, even then the voice acting is so it's great the levels look pretty um, I feel like this is the most realistic zombies that we've seen we've seen the zombies from Left 4 Dead we've seen the zombies from Back 4 Blood there are also some special zombies I didn't really encounter so much I, I encountered the, the dynamite zombies so far which is like who set off these zombie dynamites like, did the zombies set off the other dynamite sticks on the zombies and then set that zombie on fire and then he's running around to explode like suicide zombies. Anyways, maybe I'm overthinking this, but I just found that was kind of weird. Um, here we go. Yeah, so it, it feels like a basic shooter, arcade shooter. Uh, but there's a lot of customization of weapons. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. That you don't even see in Back for Blood. I don't remember that being in Left 4 Dead. Like, there's a lot of, um, even within the game, even if you own all the DLC, you still have to level up in the game. So it's kind of like a Left 4 Dead meets RPG in that sense. And um, it's kind of cool to see that. I guess you can go back into the levels and replay levels and just grind and get all these cool things unlocked. Um, so, 
there is, I think that games, it's a lot of fun to play this game. I'm sure it's even better with two to four people, but I, I already felt like there's that repetition there. Unfortunately, like even from the very beginning, it's sort of like shoot, run ahead, dodge like a dozen zombies. Like it kind of gets a little bit stale, even at the beginning when, even when you're most impressed with the graphics and the polish and everything. Um, yeah, so I, I highly recommend, I feel like you miss out a huge amount of the fun if you're not playing with other people. Um, the base game is kind of pricey, it's $56.99 uh, regular price. Uh, I think it goes for half of that, I'm not sure uh, when it goes on sale, but it's still such a well polished thing, uh, game to play, and there's a ton of DLC, you could spend like dozens more dollars on the DLC and unlockables. Um, if you want to, a lot of people are complaining about it, but I mean, you know, that's an option for sure. Um, yeah, so there's likely hours and hours of gameplay for you to enjoy here. Uh, if you're playing solo, yeah, the stages, as I said, they seem kind of short, um, but that's fine because it's, it feels like a short burst shooter title. You know, you play a level or two, then you come back and play like another 18 or whatever. I know it's quite a few levels in this game. Um, Honestly, like this is probably my favorite zombie game. It, I'm not sure if it's number one, but it's definitely in the top three with like Left 4 Dead, uh, at least my memories, nostalgia of Left 4 Dead, and from the long amount of time I played Back 4 Blood, um, yeah, which was fun until you get tired of those same levels. Um, but yeah, it's right up there. I just feel like overall, I th it just doesn't have that same addictiveness that Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood has where, you know, there's something that je ne sais quoi with those games that just make them super addictive and I, I'm not sure if it's just the level design or just like the fact that they change up the gameplay, maybe it's that, but I feel like this game's sort of missing that, like it's a cool shooter, but it's just missing that, you know, Super Mario Brothers addictiveness to it that makes it from hey a really cool game too hey this is a classic game hey this is a game you're gonna remember um but yeah i would say this is easily a, a nine out of ten uh it's one of the best games i've played in a while uh i know it's not really uh beat em up like shredder's revenge but shredder's revenge is the last game where i really felt like okay this is a game where it has a polish and fun this definitely is fun in shorter bursts um i don't regret playing full price or close to it or the DLC but I can see some people might gripe that the fact they buy the base game and they spend another fifty a hundred dollars just on the DLC so yeah just look into it see if you really like this game uh, if you can get it for cheap and then see if you want to invest more into the DLC that's all I can say but if you like zombies you probably love this game um, so it doesn't take much to please a zombie just to be all they ask for is to be fed all the time, regularly. Yeah, so keep feeding your zombie. Keep on game. Bye.